We are a, a five-year-old EV startup in China. We're based in Guangzhou. Uh, the company is formed by a group of engineers coming out of Guangzhou Auto, but the backer and the uh, chairman actually has the internet background. He actually was a very successful internet entrepreneur uh, who sold his business to Alibaba in 2014 for multiple billion dollars. So he started this business with engineers as a group. Um, so we are now building our second model car, which is the, the P7 you see here. Uh, this has level three autonomous driving feature architecture embedded in this. It also has a zero to 100 kilometer acceleration estimate in the four second range. Uh, you'll have a per charge uh, battery range of over 600 kilometers. Uh, so this will be our flagship product. Well, I think first of all, I think the Chinese government has a strong push into uh, new energy vehicles. So electrification, I think, is probably the dominant form of new energy vehicle right now in the Chinese market. So not only we want to make electric car, but we want to make a car that's intelligent and autonomous. And that's why we spent a lot of our you know, efforts and capital into researching the soft side of the vehicle in addition to designing a beautiful product like this. Well, I would definitely well, say first, a uh, car is a lot more complicated than a mobile phone. Uh, it's a lot of parts, a lot of codes, a lot of uh, you know units out there. So it is, I would say, not as simple and easy as a smartphone. But I think the trend is that there's more and more modularization inside a vehicle. Uh, you know, I think if you look at the electronic number of electronic control units, there'll be fewer and fewer. That's the trend. So it will be more modular. Uh, at the same time, I think the, the car will become also a lot more um, uh, controlled with, let's say, over-the-air upgrades and then the, 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 the connectivities that's making it very, you know, I would say, uh, efficient to operate. So I think the overall trend is to make a vehicle a lot simpler, a lot more efficient, a lot modular, and more systematic. But whether it will become another smartphone, I think it will probably not going to be that quick. Uh, probably take more years to get to that stage. Well, I think uh, certainly we have a vision to become more than a Chinese player. Uh, player. I mean, we'll want to make sure our product has a global reach. That's why you look at the design. I mean, you know, the beauty of uh, car design like this, it's applicable to all markets, not just in China. Uh, but at the same time, I think Chinese market is a very attractive and large market. As you know, we are the largest EV markets already. And also we are the largest market for connected vehicles as well as autonomous vehicles in the future. So having a foothold, establishing China is important for us. But if we can actually do well in China, we have every confidence that we can actually do well globally as well. So I think the ambition to go abroad will come as we develop. Well, there's a lot of things going on at Expo Motors. Um, first of all, we will continue to develop new products. Uh, this P7 is our second model. We are in the same process of designing our future models at the same time. But also, we have a big effort in autonomous driving. So we are also developing technologies that can be used in our vehicles that can achieve level three or beyond uh, you know, so autonomous driving. Uh, and also, we're exploring new models of retail. For example, we are opening direct-owned as well partnered stores in cities in China. Uh, we want to also deploy uh, online uh, capabilities that attract fans and sales leads to you know, help us sell our products. In future, I think we also want to explore ways how we can operate uh, both the driver as a, a group and also the data we collect from the car to make the experience better and make the, you know, the work more efficient. So all that are things that we're focused on right now.